Yo, you already know what it is. It's Biscuit, the biggest blogger in the world, man. It's the first of the month. Rent is due. Yes, Rent is due. Rent is due. And um, I got my peoples in the building to collect that rent, you heard? <laughs> you heard my guy Tevin and my guy Brandon, the provider, man. Make some noise, Millionaire Central's in the building. Let's go, baby. Let's yes, go, sir. let's go, let's go. Man, big business, big business, big queens. Yes, yes sir. sir. Appreciate you for having us up here, too, Come man. On. It's, it's yeah. a long time, man. We, we got to get this money. It's, you know, it's a lot of things going on out here. A lot, a lot. It's a lot of ways to get money. It's a lot of ways to... um. Funding is all, yo, it's so much funding, bro. Like, how do you know what's the official way to go about getting funding? Because a lot of people, I felt like during the pan, uh, definitely pandemic, Fact. a lot of people, <laughs> the pandemic, everybody, ain't everybody. a lot of people, yeah, everybody. I'm to, like, I don't want to point, you know, no, no names, no but, say no but th that list was nasty, though. Yeah, yeah, it's still nasty. It's, it's still, still yeah, I just they, I just they, saw a post somebody like they spinning the block on them right now. They spinning the block right now. They spinning the block on them right now. Jesus Christ! Speaking, like every, so, the reason why I'm saying everybody mm. got funded during the pandemic because why they gave out stimulus checks. Right. So mm. everybody has some to, some form of funding. Mm. So there's different forms of funding. Mm -hmm. What we talking about is getting funded from the banks. We getting funded from the government. We getting funded from these private institutions that's lending out money. Mm -hmm. Legit. 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 Legit, <laughs> on the books, legit business. Right. That's dope, man. So how'd, how'd y'all start, like, um, with the whole process of, like, even knowing how to do it? Because, again, like, it's so much information out there. Like, even for me sometimes, it's like, I, you know, you always got to, I always try to, like, find the source, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying, where right, the info's right, right. coming from. But, you know, it's so many content creators, there's so many yeah. entrepreneurs, so many different people that'll say, oh, you're trying to turn... Ten to a hundred thousand. Click the link in my bio. Yeah. Right, is everybody right? Yeah, it's, it, it, it's it's like what happens, especially now, and, and the way how I kind of learned about it is, you know, I was trying to buy a house. I was trying to buy a house, and, and with me trying to buy a house, um, an investment property at that, it mm -hmm. wasn't even my own house. I was trying to buy an investment property, and I had money saved up, but I just didn't have enough. Mm. So I was actually trying to buy the property. It was out in Cleveland. Um, and with that being said, I only had 30,000. I needed like 50. Okay. So there was a gap in between. You needed 20, that dub. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, I need to, I need to figure out a way how to actually get funding. Spoke to somebody. He was like, yo, you got a good credit score, right? I said, yeah. So you got an LLC as well. I said, yeah. He's like, I can get you like a hundred thousand of funding right now. I said, okay, Let's what I got to do? <laughs> but you know, it's payola, right? It's pay to play. So. He was like, yo, give me 10 stacks, and from there, I can get you this 100000 He's like, it's not guaranteed, though. Mm -hmm. So now you know. So the 10 stacks is, <laughs> is not guaranteed. So, you know, I, I took a risk, and um, and I was actually able to get funded because I had a really good credit profile. Dope. So I had over, I think I, at the time, I was like a 750 credit score, um, and I had an LLC. And the LLC was two years old. I had opened it from a while back. And with that being said, I was able to get $100,000. Now... With that being said, I started to mm -hmm. learn more about it, right? Mm -hmm. And started to go to other banks to try to see how I can duplicate the same process, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Leverage in my credit. And not only that, now I'm starting to leverage their relationships so I can make money right. by helping other people do the same. But I wasn't charging up front. I was just charging on the back. Smart. Yeah. So, I mean, that's that's kind of the way how I learned about the funding process. So, so like, what what year we like? did you... Um, I, would, I would say that was, like... 2017. 2017. 2018, possibly. No, it was, I think it's 2019. 2019. 2019. 2019. Right, right before COVID and all of that. Right, right, it was right. Like, it was like right. towards the beginning of, of 2019. I started learning about all of this. And how did you and uh, Brandon link up? Well, you know. So <laughs> like we, we did this the old-fashioned way, right? So we teach people how to access capital in order to put in their business and scale. Mm -hmm. So when you start getting into the rooms of the people that's doing what you're doing, just like you're a business owner, you're an entrepreneur, right? Right. Your industry usually looks big from the outside, but mm -hmm. it's usually small because you know who the players are. Exactly. You know who's really mm -hmm. doing what. Mm -hmm. So when I, when you're trying to go after your goals and aspirations and you're serious about it and you start getting in certain rooms that everybody's not able to be in, you start seeing the same players over and over again. Exactly. Over and over again. Mm -hmm. So we were serious about being business owners and entrepreneurs. So we start getting in the same rooms. We start getting in the same mentorships. 
And like-minded people, success attracts success. It does. So now when you're moving and shaking, you're going to attract the movers and shakers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now once we start doing the same things, we both get into real estate, we both get into entrepreneurship, we both business owners, we both bought trucking companies. Now we started saying, oh, We got to oh. make some noise, man. <laughs> they, they saying it, and it sound like, oh, you know, just, but it's a lot of... A lot of behind the scenes grind. It's a lot of networking. It's not absolutely. This is a grind. A lot of pain. Lot. <laughs> so when you rec recognize the soldiers in the field with you, you be going to yo. Let me put that soldier on my team. Let's team yeah, up and let's fact. grow this together. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that, I think that's kind of what's unique about me and Tevin relationship. Is a lot of people be surprised yo how you able to find a, such a good partner? How you able yeah. to grow with somebody? Because it was naturally osmosis. Mm -hmm. We yeah. were both personally and professionally linked up and matched up mm -hmm. we both Organic. got families we both got kids around the same age Fine. so now when we like-minded we're able to grow together so we met in the same rooms that's why i tell everybody go out there if you're trying to be a real estate investor if you're yep. trying to get in this business yeah go in those high level rooms where those people are at mm -hmm. and you're going to meet somebody that's going to be able to take you to that next level Absolutely. and they could they could wind up being your partner for the next yeah. five ten years yeah a stranger a stranger be the one to push you further than your friends <laughs> You say that have, again. Say that again. A stranger be the one to push you further than your friends, Woo, man. Look, you preach. Have a stranger come to your life and change your yes. whole life because y'all y'all matched up perfectly and you guys had the same mindset. Yo, I tell this story all the time, bro. Like before, like when it was just like Twitter. Right. I was telling like French, rest in peace to Chinks. Mm -hmm. Like, yo, this Twitter thing, Jada Kiss. I started my website, it's biscuit.com. Mm. Any conversation I had with anybody trying to put them on yeah. to what I knew. Right. I knew about this content and all this stuff early. Right, right, right. And I was trying to put people on. And like you said, a stranger mm -hmm. will come through and be like, oh, nah, I, I see your vision. Yeah, but yeah, people yeah. around you, they'll be fake hating. <laughs> then one shit is moving, then it's like, like oh, yo, they try good? to spin a blog yeah, and be like, like oh, no, nah, no, nah, I was always fucking with you. It's like, yeah. yo, bro. Yo, I didn't have a dollar in my pocket when I started this biscuit.com off my website and all that. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I couldn't get it. I couldn't get no help, no funding, no right. no support from friends, family. So it's like when when you going through the when you going through that beginning stage, mm -hmm. like literally getting it out the mud and stuff, it's just it's funny how it plays out because now when you're serious about your business and now you are in, in these different rooms and people are taking to you because they like, yo. Yo, you grinding. It's like, yeah, I, I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I'm, I'm putting this thing together. Show, and then the numbers are not always going to be the numbers. Yeah, course, That's what I tell people all the time. Men lie, women lie, but you numbers just said don't, right man. There. <laughs> you just said right there. So I realize, I don't, see, I don't call it hating no more, right? Because people do that subconsciously. So, but to me, it's not a hating. Mm -hmm. It's our job to show we're an asset. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So people are not going to pay attention to you until you look like an asset. It's our job to show that we're an asset right. to your situation or to life in general. Mm -hmm. right. So if we move around, because everybody got an idea, everybody yeah. want to do something. Mm -hmm. Everybody got a serious. vision, that's a fact. Mm -hmm. We got to show numbers talk. Mm -hmm. Your numbers talk, so there's yeah. no denying. So when we got an idea, around, I don't I don't get mad if nobody wants to support me. It's my job to make them yeah. want to support me. No, I agree. Mm -hmm. I agree. Put yourself in position. I, d I agree 100%. And, you I mean, know, you learn that. Yeah, and that's the yeah, thing, too. Yeah, you gotta like, learn that. It's, 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 yeah. <laughs> that's why I say I'm at, that's where I'm yeah. at now. You had mm -hmm. to learn that. Yeah, yeah but at, at first, at you ain't first, it gets rocky. Yeah, everybody nah, hated yeah. yeah. me for yeah. 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 You yeah. sitting around yeah. people, you're like, damn, like, I'm out here by myself holding yeah. the camera, editing, right. yeah. doing all of this work. And it's like, nobody wants to help. You know what I mean? Nobody wants to come for the ride. But when the bottles are coming out, the models is coming out, it's like, everybody there. Everybody there. Everybody there. Yeah, pulling up. I see you the Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, I put in all this work, man. But now nah, it's good to it's good to see that you know what I'm saying y'all linked up and y'all mm -hmm. y'all killing the game right now, man. For real, I salute, big salute. I saw y'all linked up with uh, Wallow and Gilly. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Yes, how, sir. How did that happen? So same thing, networking, bro. Networking. So getting in the right rooms and talking yeah. to the right people, and they point you in the right directions. Mm -hmm. So this this world in general, especially if you're a business owner, is about networking and relationships. Facts. One relationship could change the whole course and direction of your life. Facts. One relationship. One. Not so it's important two, when you're doing something, get out there and talk. Tell everybody what you do. Mm -hmm. Tell everybody what you... You can't tell your plans to everybody, but tell everybody mm -hmm. who you are, what, what you, you about. do, what exactly. you about. Exactly. If they don't know you, they can't help you. Exactly. If they don't know yeah, you, they can't take you. Don't get no. fed. Exactly. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, that, 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 now networking is, is is definitely key. And, you yeah. know, um, I appreciate you. Uh, you know, I know y'all from Queens. I know you was coming from Jersey. Y'all, yes, y'all, y'all made it to Long Island. I know the traffic is... Strong Island. Strong, strong Island. Island. Yeah, not y'all here in Strong yeah, Island. Strong you feel Island, me? Man. Big Queens and Strong Island. Um, Do you, do you uh, have any businesses or any plans to, like, you know, start um some... Uh, you know, uh, real estate. I know you, you, you all in the real estate game. Have yeah. you looking to any properties out here in Long Island? Not, not Long Island. I'm selling, I'm selling the property right now in Long Island. Um, but I, I'm, I'm going to be moving more my, my talents over to Philly. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm okay. Moving my talents. <laughs> nah, it's, mad it's, at a, that. It's, a, it's a little bit easier market, right? It's yeah. The, cribs uh, out here right now, like six and seven hundred. Exactly. I know I'm selling mine. <laughs> that's out here. So I, I know exactly. Long you know, Money Island. Yeah. So, but Philly, Philly, you know, right now, it's, it's, it's like I said, it's, a, it's an easier barrier of entry. You can make a little mm-hmm. bit more. You can put a little bit more up. You can do multiple projects opposed to New York and New Jersey where you got to put a lot of money up. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, when you see something like what happened with uh, DJ Envy and um, Caesar, right? Mm-hmm. Like, how do, how do you, how do you, what are your views on, on that? Because um, a lot of people was... Right, putting money Put up. Putting money up. I mean, my my views personally, I mean, it's just you gotta you gotta do your own due diligence, right? Mm-hmm. Um, do your own due diligence, see exactly what you're gonna get into and and really just, you know, start asking questions. I think a lot of times people see a celebrity or they see somebody that's like a celebrity, right? And they forget to start asking those questions mm-hmm. because they get so dumbfounded in by the, what they want to the do. Exactly. So a lot of times they forget to ask questions. Or they forget to mm. ask, you know, because their team of the person's questions. influence. Exactly. So I think you just got to really start asking them questions, really get into the, you know, the 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 due diligence of what you're really doing, and see if it's worth it for you. Because if it's not worth it, but you're just doing it because mm-hmm. you, there's a name attached to it, yeah. then, then what's the point? And and how do you guys go about like with marketing and getting? Um, I checked the website to to for the funding. Okay. What, what's the website again? So info.millionaireessentials.com um, mm-hmm. slash start now. Um, so we help people get access to capital, like I said. Mm-hmm. So to piggyback off of what he was saying, mm-hmm. we look at the era we live in, right? Mm-hmm. We live in the era of everybody want to market, but no, yep. not everybody want to build a business. Mm-hmm. True. It's important true. to pay attention to the customer's needs and fulfillment. Our goal is to fulfill the customer. Mm-hmm. So we're, our goal is to help the customer get to where they need to go in order to be successful. Mm-hmm. That's our main goal. Yep. So we're not here just to market to you, sell your product, and then leave. Mm-hmm. We're here for you to be successful. So as a business owner, if you keep that in mind, mm-hmm. you will always be successful and help the customer. The customer really is first. Right. Because yes. the customer is going to tell your story. So if I help Biz get access to 100K, he copped this crazy, crazy amazing studio. This is studio. This studio is crazy, by the way. Yeah, this studio is amazing. Media, Y'all never salute, been here. Salute, salute, salute. This studio is amazing. Appreciate yes. that. So, he copped this amazing studio. You know what you're going to say? You're going to refer me to your friend. You're going to refer me to your big yeah. players. Yo, go to Brandon Tev. They help me get capital. Yep. So, by me helping you be successful, mm-hmm. it's going to further my brand. Mm-hmm. So, I think a lot of people on here online, just in general, they're looking for the microwave results. They're not looking for the long term. They're not looking for the Thanksgiving dinners. Nah. Exactly. They're not looking <laughs> they, for the year after wait. year after yeah. year. They don't want to wait the eight months to get or, yeah. or up to eleven months to get to you know their success. Yeah. Everything they want everything now. Mm-hmm. Exactly. But now the instant gratification gets you caught up. Gets yes, you in situations like that. Mm-hmm. You thinking of building long term and thinking to build a business that's going to last for five, ten, fifteen years, and now that you could sell for fifty, a hundred million, mm-hmm. you got to build it the right way. You got to put systems in place. You got to get custom satisfaction. Mm-hmm. When you go on and, and go on Trustpilot and see these Google reviews, do what the billionaires are doing. Mm. Build your business how, how Amazon and Google's building a business. That's we want to build it like yeah. the, the hood way, which is the problem. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, that's, that's super important. Customer experience and customer journey is super important for any business. Yeah. Right? But especially in ours because... You know, I, I you know the real industry behind our business is really you know talent management, and then also marketing, right? But in in between that, we really need to understand that the customer is first. So as long as we can keep that journey and keep them going mm-hmm. and keep them happy, and then now from there they can now recommend us, like you said, to five six yeah. other people. Now our business is our pipeline is always filled mm-hmm. no matter what. That's that's the same thing like with with my business and working with all the different agencies and people that I work with. Like mm-hmm. I make sure 
whatever I'm saying I'm going to do, if I say, yo, I'm going to post you, I'm going to get you a million views, mm-hmm. whatever I'm going to do, like, I always over-deliver. Right. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, I that that getting referred and, and when your name comes up, yep. you know, nah, yeah, biz is good. Yo, nah, trust me, fuck with biz. Like, yes, you know, exactly, exactly. And, and I, I, I knew that this whole time. That's why I'm always like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I always deliver. I always make sure yeah. I'm a man of my word. If I say I'm going to do something, I get it done because that's that's a, yeah. big, that's a big part in business. Yeah, integrity. Integrity yeah, is super big. Under promise and over deliver. Super. Under promise and, and over deliver. deliver. Y'all are over, deli- over promising and, and under delivering. delivering. Yeah. That's, that's the problem. The problem. Yeah, that's a, lot a of big problem. Stop capping. Over promising. <laughs> and they call it marketing. Some some of it is lying. <laughs> yeah, a lot of it. Lying, lying is just marketing ain't, ain't lying, bro. Yeah. Like you could over, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. indulge, but y'all just be out here lying. It's, it's, it's so it's much bad. of it, man. It's 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 flooded, it's flooded, flooded. Yeah. But um, so what? Where'd you guys get the name for Millionaire Essentials? Cause that's a that's a fire name and and the, the brand is oh, yeah, fire. The they got the merch. Yeah. We got the merch. Yeah, y'all already get my my hoodie yet, yeah, but you know. Nah, nah, it's coming. I, I know, Don't worry. I know, I know he, he gonna get it. He gonna get it. You gonna ship it out. You gonna ship it out. Hoodie season. You heard? I got the sweatpants on for y'all. Right, right. Yeah. You know, I be so, um, I be in them airports. I need to be. Yeah, chilly. You know I mean? Yeah, I know you be flying everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. He the biggest blogger in the world. He got to. Hello. He got to. But nah, how we came up with the name? Um, he he already had a company name. I think it was uh. Millennium, millennium, yeah, millennium, millennium, millionaire. That's fine. And I had a company name, Essentials ABC Solutions. Oh, put it to two plus two is four. That's it. Yeah, you know, it. you know, the genius came up with it. Um, that was me. I just want to let you down. I don't think uh, you did. I did. Nah, I don't know bro, about I that. I came up with it, bro. I don't know remember about I, that, bro. I texted you. Yo, remember? I don't know about you got that. The receipts? You got uh, the receipts? I got the receipts, man. Oh, man. I can't go back gonna that find far. that. That's, yeah, that's way far. I text messages. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Oh man, yeah, y'all go here. <laughs> but, but yeah, yeah. Nah, 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 but um, no, we came up, we came up with that millionaire essentials together. Um, uh, we spoke about it further, and then you know, we just was like, yo, this this is the one that match. Right. And then from there, it's just brand identity, mm-hmm. figuring out who we are, and then customer journey. Give, give you all the essentials to become a millionaire. Now, exactly. if somebody want to like get with you guys and like you know join the program and things like money wise or like um, like what what does it take? Okay. So, like I said, I'm gonna say it again because I want y'all to know we help people access capital to scale. What it, that means is we help you get into the bank and get access to business funding to put in your business, to put mm-hmm. in the systems, to put mm-hmm. in the employees. So this is PG and personally guaranteeing. Yep. So you gotta have a minimum credit score of 700. And if you don't have a minimum credit score, we will help you get there because the biggest partners in the world is the banks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You want to partner with trillionaires. We're official partners with Chase Bank. Woo. Like yes. we're official yes. Chase Bank partners. Yes, sir. What just happened with Chase? Because people was going... Oh, come on. <laughs> so, 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 so the situation with Chase is crazy. <laughs> and they spinning the block on them too. They spinning the block. Oh, yes. man. Yes, they are. Yeah, it's over. So it's this, over. Happens, this happens. Banks yeah. go through a bunch of different things. There was a glitch. A, a chase glitch. Yeah. So people was going in there, seeing a glitch, trying to take all the money out, running, and running it home, up. running home, <laughs> running to the bank. But the federal government is undefeated. They go and get you always. Undefeated. Some way, somehow. Some way. Some way, some whether it's jail, whether it's on paper, yeah. they're gonna get you some way, somehow. Them so they spending the block on them, getting their money back, suing them, probably trying to lock them up. Crazy. Yeah. But now nah, that the partnership with Chase is definitely big because you know they really want to involve the community, right? So obviously mm. Chase is a bank. Us in our community, we don't look at the banks like they are friends. They don't, we don't look yeah. at the bank as, as their partner. Fortunately, I don't know why. Fortunately, but I mean that's just the stigma behind them, right? Mm-hmm. But now, you know, as as you know, this social media era is here, so people are starting to see that you know money is is out there. Absolutely. But people are still you know fickle to not want to go to the bank anymore. So that partnership with Chase is very big. It's very community inclusion. So we're speaking at a lot of their corporate events. Mm-hmm. I just spoke at an event for them on. Wednesday. Oh, yeah. Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. I spoke at an event for them at uh, Hudson Community College in Jersey City. Shout out to, to shout out to Hudson Community College. They hosted an amazing event, but I was able to speak on a panel for Chase. Mm-hmm. So as being a community partner and, and, and a partner with Chase itself, you know that's that's big. Cause, that's that's dope. And and they see somebody like me. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? That they identify with. Exactly. Because mm-hmm. on the on the panel, it wasn't. I'm I'm the only one that was that was me and stuff for the moderator. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? The other two weren't weren't of our community. So you got you got to kind of understand that they're looking for people like us because they they need us. And and not to like jump right into the politics or whatever, but it's November first. Mm-hmm. Oh damn! It's November first. Um, you know you got Trump. We couldn't do this November fourth. Like 
after got Kamala. <laughs> November fifth is the election, buddy. He don't yeah, even know no. what's going on. No, I'm he saying, said, I'm he said, saying he we could do it November fourth. Oh, uh, right before uh, the election. Yeah, it's real right now. Yeah. <laughs> what, what 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 are some of y'all predictions? Oh, damn, that nah, ain't nah. real, man. <laughs> Life is real, bro. For the see, this crazy part is the election is not going to affect half these people. Bottom line, out here, it's it's not. So I mean, you can vote for who you want to vote for. I don't I don't care. But you need to be focused on your direction, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, you need to be focused on if this person get elected or not, I'm still going to be good. Right? Yes. Focused on your path. That's mm -hmm. People are too caught up with what's going on on TV. Yeah, see, like... The election. Everybody sports, looking for a crutch. They're they yes. looking for an excuse of why they not where they where at, they, when, yo, but they're not looking in the that mirror. That's the sad truth. Mm -hmm. They're not looking in the mirror. Damn, that's the sad truth. Yeah. So that, it's like it's like NASCAR, right? I know a lot of our people out there probably don't watch NASCAR, but NASCAR, they run in the same race. Mm. Everybody running that same race. The difference is a lot of y'all are running on the outside. So y'all close to that wall, running on the outside, circling, circle. Every time you hit a turn, you got to slow down. You got to slow down. Meanwhile, the people that's in the lead are close on the inside. Mm -hmm. yeah. So every time we hit a turn, I'm going past you. I'm getting further and further away. But you still on the outside. You need to start getting close to the inside, inside. so you can start getting ahead of people. Sheesh. People, we all run in the that's same race. Analogy. I'm just running that's it different. That's a great analogy. That's, that's, no, that's, that's analogy King right here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah oh, I ahead. thought I was analogy. No, no, no. no. He, nah, he, he, about to, he about to come out with like four more. Don't worry about yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> nah, that's that's the truth, it bro. The we, truth. we run in the same race. You just running on the outside. I'm on the inside. Yeah. If you focus on running the race on the inside, that's not going to affect you. Do not let somebody else's system affect your life. Yeah, I, th I think yeah. I mean, that's 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 simply the bottom line of, of everything that's happening. Yeah. Cause, I mean, that's why we got all them Congress people and the the small little elections. You know, people mm -hmm. say that you got to vote the small elections to really make a change of what you need for your no, state, yeah, definitely. Or your city, or your town specifically. But, I mean, you go vote. Whoever wins, whoever wins, it ain't gonna stop what I'm doing. So when you um when we were talking um earlier about mentorship, right? Mm -hmm. um, oh yeah. I know you said it earlier. Yeah, I'm I'm curious to know, like, because, again, there's a lot of people out there to follow. Right. They might right. have a million followers. Right. They might have a nice suit on every day. They mm -hmm. might speak very professional, and it might be like, yo, you know what? Let me spend my money to get a mentorship from this yes. person. Yes. But as far as your journey and, your, you know, um, is concerned, who did you um, lean towards as far as, like, a mentor? to like kind of like put you on a game and to get some insight from so um with with the whole funding aspect that like i said i had paid somebody but he wasn't a mentor he was just somebody i was paying for funding um as i started to do you know and, and gain more relationships i needed to learn a little bit more about actually doing the funding so shout out to my man haitian ceo um herman dulcie he uh he, he kind of put instilled the the funding contracts and things like that on on how i can you know at least start a funding company and then from there, I just I kind of took that and just went further with it. You okay. know what I'm saying? Um, so Herman Dulce, Haitian CEO, that's my guy. Um, we fund a lot of his clients too right now. So, you know, it, I, I I became, I went from a mentee to now a partner with him. That's dope, right? man. So, that's, yeah, that's, yeah. Fire. that's fire, that's fire, that's fire. But, um, you know, that, that, was, that, was one of the, that was one of the, you know, the people that I actually, you know, I went to looking for when it came to funding. You know, there's, there's a couple other people that I can, I can say, you know, have maybe not have taught me something, mm -hmm. but you know, they were. Did you there. ever like uh, find yourself like, you know, trusting somebody or trusting a certain um, path and it didn't, it wasn't what it, what it looked like. Oh, okay. So you trying to make this. Cause this, you know, all this glitter, cast? All, all, this, this all, all glitters ain't, you know, <laughs> every, every, this cast. everything so, that on, glitters on, ain't on. gold. You <laughs> know what I mean? Let me point something out. Let me point something out. Analogy. When you, when you looking, when you looking for, <laughs> uh, don't, don't set me up. I'm going to tell you when to set me up. <laughs> when you looking for a mentor, right? These are the three things you should you should find out. Because you talk about vetting people out, right? Mm -hmm. So what's the biggest thing they've bought or invested in as far as education on themselves? Mm -hmm. What's the biggest thing they've sold and how much money they've made? This is the three things you'll ask your mentor, the people yep. that you're going to invest your time in. I've probably paid over six figures in mentorships here. We yeah. built a company. We've grossed over seven figures. So these are the three things when you're going to invest your money, time, and energy into somebody, find out who they really are. Mm -hmm. People out here just paying people just to pay people. 
Yeah. Find out who they really are. Do your due diligence. Because now you can say, right, this person can get me from A to B. Mm -hmm. And in your life, you're not going to have just one mentor. Yeah. He could be, this person you invest your time could just help you learn how to get the B. Mm -hmm. But somebody else you may have to get into and get next to to learn how to get the C or D. Mm -hmm. Like, you're constantly learning. One person can't teach you everything. That's yes. Fact. Yes. And I'm not just saying everything is, you got to pay for everything. Relationships matter too. Mm -hmm. But don't be scared to invest in your future. Y'all yeah. don't want to invest. Y'all expect everything to be for free. For free. Invest in your future. You got to pay that money. Where's the setup on it? You don't need the setup? Nah, I'll let uh, you know what it's coming. I'm, right, cool. I'm, 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 I'm speechless because it's like everybody wants a handout, man. It's, it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The best investment you can make is in yourself. No, nah, that's a fact. With your time, you know what I'm saying? The the quality of people that you surround yourself with. Correct, correct. All of these things matter. Correct. Your mindset. Correct. You know, correct. other people, you know, I just saw a meme the other day. You know, I post a bunch of quotes too. I don't know if y'all yeah, follow me. Yeah. But, you know, I'm the biggest, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so I saw. Biggest blogger, yeah. Biggest blogger. Yeah, yeah. facts. I saw um a, a meme the other day with a bunch of oranges uh -huh. about like, you know, same thing like with cancer, like how it spreads. Uh -huh. So it's like one orange was rotten. Yeah, one of them was rotten. And then like the next, the one next to it was caught it. Yeah. And then like, you know, you exactly. it and trickles it. down. So, yeah. you know, so you have to, you literally have to really, you know, 50 Cent was just on a breakfast club and I was watching him speak and he said like the same thing. It's just, it's just really who you surround yourself with, which, mm -hmm. you know, you don't really think of it, but like you really have to like put yourself in that situation and say, okay, who am I around? Mm -hmm. Where am I? Like, what is your circle? Yeah, you know what? What environments? What places am I hanging out? Just like you said, you put your you put yourself. Whatever you got to do, if you got to pay to play, whatever you have to do, if it's an investment for you and you're betting on yourself, it's the best. That's the best bet to place. Yeah, no, that's a fact. That's that's a super fact, man. Your that's, <clears throat> but it's, it's it's muscle memory, right? So if you go at home every day, right? Analogy. You watch you watch Netflix every day, right? That's the setup. Yeah, that's the setup. You watch Netflix every day, right? You mm -hmm. like watch Amazon every day. You watch all these Tyler Perry movies. Tyler Perry movies. Mm -hmm. Your mind's gonna start thinking that way. You watch all the love and hip hop. Your mind's gonna start thinking that way. You on the block every day. You wanna start reacting and thinking that way Absolutely. naturally. Yeah. Now, if I'm around Biz every day, I'm around Tevin every day. I'm around all these millionaires. They talking about stocks. They talking about investments. Mm -hmm. They talking about doing all these extra things. My brain is going to start to start thinking that way slowly but surely. Yep. And I'm going to start to think that way naturally. So your brain is a muscle, it's muscle memory. Mm -hmm. So you want to audit what you're ingesting because you want to form your brain and your body to move a certain way. So the more you ingest all of those things, mm -hmm. the positive things about growing, about success, and surround yourself around those people, that's how you're going to form. The more, Absolutely. the other side, the more you ingest that, mm -hmm. that's how you're going to form. Just like raising your children. Mm -hmm. Put them around these type of people, that's how they're going to turn around. You yep. put them around these positive people, mm -hmm. that's the direction they're going to go. Yeah. Yeah, mindset mindset is very big, especially in, in this game, um, just with success in mm -hmm. general, right? Oh, yeah. You have to believe in yourself when exactly. no one don't. And exactly. That's, you know, it like takes... Biz, he, he, had to, he had to believe in himself. He believe had the website. Coming. He, like, you mm -hmm. probably were calling yourself the biggest blogger before you became the biggest blogger, mm -hmm. right? So that's you what tell. you have to do. Every two seconds. Yeah, no, every two tell. seconds. <laughs> that's it. Great. Did you see? That's yeah, yeah. no, nah, but but that's but that's amazing, I'm right? Just, I'm just waiting on my chain. Is yeah, now nah, don't worry. Shout out to Mozzie. He's it's making it. Yeah, it's just taking, it's coming. It's just, okay. it's just taking time. Hey, don't worry. It's gonna be Can't here. Much greatness. Yeah. So that that right there, like that, your mindset yeah. that you had before Absolutely. is amazing because a lot of people don't have that. Mm -hmm. A lot of people can't be in the in the in the dirt in the mud and think. Yeah. You know, a lot of people that look at look look up to me as a mentor, and you know, like I inspire them. They say it all the time. They be telling me like, you know, even with the family. Yeah. But some people think like, okay, if I have kids, or if I have a nine to five, whatever mm -hmm. the situation is, I'm not gonna be able to go to events or go outside or network or That's do this or lie. do that. And you chose that life. You chose to. <laughs> you now, chose even, not even to if you think you ain't choose it, right? I'm just getting to that real quick. Even if you think mm -hmm. you ain't choose it, right? You always have time and energy to change it. Mm -hmm. So you could start off that way, right? Mm -hmm. But now, what are you doing to change it? What are you actively doing every day to get your time back? Because that's the most precious thing. That's why we got a lot. Both of us got an entrepreneurship to have our time back with our family. Yeah. Even though when you're an entrepreneur, you're working all day, you still it mm -hmm. end up being more time in the beginning, spending yep. more time doing your business. But, but you know what? I could pick my daughter up every exactly. day. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I could, I could go to all her events. Yeah. You know, it's a beautiful thing. Because I could structure my day. Mm-hmm. 
You know what I'm saying? How many kids do you got? I only got have? one. I got two. So I got three. Okay. Yeah, one, one, two, two three. three. There we go. <laughs> That's it. I, but, I need to play the numbers real quick. Yeah, but nah, but that, but but the job, like even with the job, the job is your biggest investor, right? So even your first if, investor. Yeah, and, and your first investor. Yeah. Right? Because like when you're when you're coming up in the in the in the struggle of everything, right? And it may not be a, you might be making one hundred fifty thousand, but you feel like you're in a struggle. And a lot of people and, blame it on the kids too, you exactly. know. Exactly. Oh, you know, I got kids. No, but I ain't gonna lie. I threw my kids on the bus a few times. <laughs> I, got kids, bro. I can't do this. I can't do that. But it's it's <laughs> it's, it's just really harder than your time, harder than your time, harder than harder than the amount of money you're spending, harder than what you're yeah. doing, and then it's also, like a business inside the business. Exactly, and then also harder than what your credit is like. Because your credit tells everything. And 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 what what would you guys suggest as far as we're talking about kids, right? So mm -hmm. you know our parents burnt our credit. You know <laughs> I had phone. No, you know my mom's had my my. You know. Your phone. Yeah, yeah I cable was bill. AT and T or all whatever. That, all that. Yeah, yeah. My name was in all of that. So our parents did us dirty with that. So how do we, um, you know, change with our kids? Like as far as like setting up them with bank accounts and putting things in their credit like when should you do it what age should you do it or you know even um you know just putting um money away for them so when they turn 18 you know in the credit unions and right, th different right, right. things like that right what do you how do you guys feel about that what's what's your take so on it it's never too early to introduce financial literacy to your kids right they even got um different because i got some cards i forgot the name of the company i got cards and different things at home where i slowly um my daughter's eight so i have her start learning about financial literacy and she sees what right. I do. So this is another thing. Mm -hmm. Your parent your kids see everything yes, you do. They do. Even they if absorb you don't think they're watching you, they absorb it all. Mm -hmm. So the way you live in your life, you think they're not watching, the way you moving, they're absorbing that as well. So we gotta keep in mind be we can't mind be hypocrites. That. We can't be like, yo, do this and you're not doing that. Mm -hmm. So you gotta change in order to be better as well. So if you introduce your financial literacy to your kids, you gotta start growing in that field of success as well because they see that. But it's never too early to introduce financial literacy, right? Start teaching them about banks, how bank accounts work, how credit works, the basics, numbers, you know what I'm saying? What's mm -hmm. a return? What's an investment? What's debt? What's credit? Mm -hmm. Start having them learn that early. What's mm -hmm. income? What's outcome? What's the asset? What's Long the as the outcome exactly. is income. <laughs> you can have them start learning about stocks, about investing, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. now by the time they get a certain age, you can introduce um, building business if you're into businesses, right? Um, how to set up an LLC, how to get a credit score, all that stuff. Introduce that. So by the time they're a teenager, they have the basis of financial literacy. Now you're setting them up for success. Yeah. Facts, facts. Yeah. Big that's, facts. That's super important, especially with our kids nowadays, man. Cause they, you know, they they're gonna absorb it, like he said, everything we do. So mm -hmm. we just gotta Yeah, no, they they definitely watching. Yeah. They're watching all the yeah, time. My man. daughter, my daughter, we um we spoke at a conference in Atlanta. Was it last? No, last year was it or a year before last? No, I think every it was year, last bro. Year. Every every year we just be, we yeah. What are you talking about? Every year. Uh, are you talking about when she was there? Yes. Oh, last year. Yeah, last it was year. last year. So, so you know, she sees she always sees me. Well, not always, but she sees me via video, always speaking on stages and things like that. So mm -hmm. last year she wanted to get on stage and she was like, "That's dope." I wanted to, you know, I want to say, "Hey, you know, what's the asset?" She was, so she got on the stage. She started asking people, "What's the asset? What's yeah, the yeah. asset?" And then she was like, hey, what's the liability? You got that liability? clip. I need to see that. That's you do, fine. Yeah, it's on it. It's on, it's on my Instagram. Yeah, we got it's on we my got Instagram. It. But yeah, no, that that right there, you know, it, it brought a tear to my eye because it's like, you know, we 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 grow up wanting them to see what we're doing and mm -hmm. just appreciate it. So the fact that, you know, yeah, that's fine. that we're able to teach, I was able to teach her that. Um, Having a daughter get you that, that soft spot, man, it's crazy. Yeah, exactly, like exactly. People exactly. used to tell me, I'm like, all right, all right whatever, you know? Yeah. Like, my man, you know, rest in peace of chinks, like. He used to always say, like, yo, daughter, yeah, yeah. having a daughter is different, bitch, I'm telling you. And I'm like, all right, yeah, you know. Nah, yeah, you. having that but daughter. My, my daughter, she's she's about to be seven in December. December. Yeah, my, my daughter's seven right now. She's about yeah, to be daughter, eight yeah. in April. Yeah. So, you know, she taught me patience. I, right. I, I had patience before, but she taught me even further patience. Yeah. So, I think, I, you know, shout out to the girls. Shout out to the to the, to the ladies in, yeah. the, in yeah. the life as well. Cause Definitely. They, yep. Wifey, if you're watching. Yeah, it's facts. You texted me. Absolutely. Shout out Natalie. Absolutely. Yeah, because they they yeah. they the ones that Shout execute. Um, as far as we we're talking about the wives right now, right? Um, mm -hmm. are your are your wives in like part of your business or like how does that work? <laughs> I'm saying like as far as like no 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 because we we get blasted all the time by them about this because <laughs> it's not that they're not in the business they are in the business they're just 
what's, what's the indirectly not in the business, but um, it's you know they 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 have a role that they play as well, mm-hmm. not just being a, a wife or, or a, yeah. a lady in the house, but it's just they also are you know the the confidant that we right, speak yeah, with when facts. when it comes to building mm-hmm. and making decisions and things like that. So they do help us with that. Um, but they they're not uh, directly inside of the company, but like I said, indirectly they help us a lot. Brandon, the um, provider. Whether, what yeah, is it like I, I to be a I provider? Think, Talk to us. I think that's us. definitely important. Um, this, I think that's a work in progress for a lot of men, male facts. entrepreneurs, facts, facts. especially when you're growing, because uh, having your, your significant other on the same page is very, 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 very... Uh, very uh, no, 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 stop, stop, stop. Very stop, important. Stop, stop, With stop. a Don Julio. Uh, very, uh, very, <laughs> that, it hurt, it hurt oh. just talking about it, right? Ah. Uh. Man, so it's that it's same crazy. Page, man, where is that same page? No, don't worry, we're gonna find, find it. Find one day, one day we're gonna find it. It's crazy. It's real. Know? It's real in the field. Put it like that. I it be, definitely is. I know you done been through it. Man, yeah. I've been with I've been with my wife for a long time and definitely shout out to her because you know, like they always say, you know, you you're not any any successful man has a a, as a woman a, behind a woman behind him. Mm-hmm. For, for sure. Like anybody that got their shit together, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, um, it hurt just him thinking about it. it He want to move on you know a relationship is a cycle compromise right so it's like you gotta constantly like Mm -hmm. give and take Give or take. take. Give or take. Compromise. You gotta you gotta you gotta sacrifice. You know, Thanksgiving is coming up. She might want to go to see her family. family. Yeah, gotta go see my family. But you know, all the time. We're entrepreneurs, so we got the time to do that. You get what I'm saying? But see, shout and shout out to my guy Keston, right? So he teaches basically that work life balance, right? Yeah. Basically, Mm. you you spending all them hours on your business, but how much you spending at home. Mm -hmm. So the same amount of hours in in stride you put in your business, you gotta put that at home as well. Yeah. Balance. So a lot of times we chase the business, the business, the money, and we say, yo, we doing this for the family and the family's unhappy. Mm-hmm. So who are you really doing it for? You're really doing it for yourself. Yes. Because if she don't want you to do that, who are you doing it for? So we got to think, all right, even though we as men, we're the leaders, mm-hmm. how do we make the entire household happy? How do we get her to understand what's going on? So you got to get her on the same page as you before you just make this step. I know we like to just take the step and just do it without consoling, yeah. thinking we're doing the right thing. Right. But... It's important to get that person on the same page as you before you take those steps because taking those steps, you may be taking two steps forward and ten steps back. Mm-hmm. Because just because you're bringing the money home, for the majority of us, I know a lot of y'all live different lifestyles, yeah. But just because you're bringing the money home, that don't necessarily equate to happiness. Yeah, it don't. A lot of times she want that time, time, yeah. time and communication, or she wants you to, to show you that, money. that you care. Woo. She want to see you care. Yeah, yeah. Time and communication so, is big. Communication just in general is big. Not only mm-hmm. just, not only just with with them, but even you know with us and our mm-hmm. partnership that we got and and other people that are out there. Right. A lot of times they ask, you know, what's so great about our partnership? Communication. It's communication. Yeah. You got to. Well, it's, it's, it's a big but thing. But not, not just that. It's a big thing with respect. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Some people um might not respect your time. That's why it's like <clears throat> the time part, like with a partner, with, mm-hmm. you know, with a significant other, whoever. It's like, you know, I, I told wife earlier, I said, y'all got to do a podcast. But she knows like when I'm going to do something, she knows that it's because. It, exactly. it has to be done, you know what exactly. I'm saying? Versus, exactly. and you know, I had to build that with her as well, because right. you know, a lot of this, a lot of this, figuring it out, whether um whatever paths we have, right? Like mm-hmm. whether it's real estate, whether it's opening up a restaurant, mm-hmm. an entrepreneur in general, you know, mm-hmm. starting a clothing line, everything takes time, especially in the beginning when you're ironing everything out to find which are gonna be the soldiers that's gonna roll with you on this journey. Correct. You know what I'm correct, saying? Correct. So it definitely takes a lot of time, but like. Respect is the big thing. Fact. You know what I'm saying? Once once the respect is there. Absolutely. You was about to say that? No, I was going to say personality types. Really? Like, you got to match a person. I'm talking about with a, with a like, business partner or a friend. Like, personalities mm. matter. Like, I don't know. You don't know it's that deep yet, but you can see the difference between our personalities, but our personalities match. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Especially when you go into partnerships, business-wise. Mm-hmm. It's not just about I. he knows how to make money. Do y'all sync? Do y'all flow? Are y'all on the same wavelength? Do y'all have the same ideology? Mm-hmm. That matters because that in the long term, when you start going into business meetings or start making certain decisions, if he don't think like you or have the same ideology, mm-hmm. y'all gonna clash. Mm-hmm. Y'all gonna clash. Yeah, dropping so that, your that ego. definitely matters. Dropping yeah. your ego, that too. Even in your regular relationship, dropping your yeah. ego. Is super important because have too much pride, man. Exactly. Like sometimes we want to pride. <laughs> sometimes we want to be the big huff man, but yeah. that, that's not what it is. That's that's not what builds a lasting relationship, man. 
That's not what building. That's, that's do you not feel like being? Do you feel like being a provider, right? <laughs> like if you taking care of somebody, you, you, hard um, you, you know, <laughs> provider is a provider, right? So you're providing, you know, now you see all these videos and all of these like means with like relationships, right? Like mm -hmm. do, do, you know, if you have a female, if she makes more money, um, like how's the bills being split? You know what I mean? We all have these yeah, bills, like, right? This, this. So it's like, do we do 50, 50? Like, you know what I'm saying? My situation is my situation. And, um, and that's you know, that. I'm, I'm the sponsor. I'm the investor. I'm the provider. I'm the everything. That's you know what I'm saying? Like and 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 it's like um, I I I do my I do my job. I do you know I hold I hold it down. That's right. what I do. I've been doing it. So it's kind of like the second nature type shit to be a provider. It's not like you know some people struggle with it, and I it, it's not like I don't know it, struggle with it, man. That's <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that's pro That's 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 number I'm one. I'm just saying like. <laughs> You know, um, I don't know. I'm listening. That's that's that's, <laughs> that's like I said earlier. What's getting ingrained into your head? Number one, everybody' ideology is different. Let's put it that way. Everybody' yes. yeah. ideology is different. But when you're a leader, your job is to provide. Point blank. Period. Mm -hmm. If you consider yourself a leader, your job is to provide. Now, so, what is so, the so definition you ain't gonna of put provide? That, you ain't gonna put that fifty that fifty on them. What is the definition of provide? Right. <laughs> so, if I have employees. Employees got to get paid every week. They get paid, let's just say, a thousand dollars. If I didn't make no money in this business, I still have to pay them a thousand dollars. I'm gonna find out why I didn't make no money, but I still have to pay them a thousand dollars. If I gotta go to my personal bank account, I gotta pay them a thousand dollars. Gotta pay the workers. Mm -hmm. So if I tell my wife, "Hey, we get in this house," I'm gonna make sure the food is on the table, no matter what. I'm gonna make sure my daughter's school's getting paid for, no matter what. What am I asking her for money for? Now her job is to support if I really need it. And then we we down bad. I ain't really got it. Her job is to say, babe, I uh, you know what? Let me help you with this. It's support. But my job is to be the leader of the family. Now I'm gonna take care of everything if I could take care of it. If I can't, this is where we come meet in the middle. Yo, babe, I'm only making this. I'm like, y'all could meet in the middle somewhere. But mm -hmm. my job as a leader, as a man, is to make sure the household is getting taken care of. Fact. I shouldn't walk in there and say, how much you making? I, I'm making this. Figure out how to make sure everything is getting taken care of. However, you got to figure out. It's your job to figure it out. As a man. As a man. Now, if you have a woman that want to step up and do it, that's different. Mm -hmm. But that shouldn't be your first option. Yo, know, if you if I take a girl out, say I'm 36. It could be a little different for y'all that's 21, 22. I'm paying for the meal. Yeah. It's only 100, 200, 300. How much could it be? If I don't have that money, I'm not going out. Exactly. And that's, that's it. That'd be the problem. A lot of these dudes nowadays be going out and don't have the money. Yo, I'm, I'm, but I gotta they, go to the bathroom go real quick. Yeah, I was going back to the and Yeah. And that could have been your future wife. That'd be funny, man. That could have been your future wife if you just had $100, $200. I, th I think it's problem. the way people are viewing money. Y'all viewing money wrong. Mm. Money is just a tool. Money don't mean nothing. Money is just a, a fictitious object that's made up. It's a tool to get you into assets and mm -hmm. stuff that really mean value. So if you look at money that way, mm -hmm. you wouldn't be saying, yo, I'm only, let me splitting all this up. No, you, you're, you're using a tool to get to something that's valuable. Right. Yep. So whether you like want to hit it, a, taking a first class wanna, flight, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? You're in the front, you're yeah. on that way, you get champagne. Exactly. exactly. You get what you pay for. Yeah, he, he like exactly. That. He like millionaire. I'm, I'm down. I just need, I just need the gear. You know what I mean? Nah, I'm a millionaire right. since you. I'm, all right. I'm, we partnering up, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, we we going to make something there. happen. You heard? Yeah, 2025, yeah. Um, man, it's only two months left, man. What what advice you got for anybody that's out here, whether they on the grind, 9 to 5 and oh, whatever? We got some advice. Oh, yeah, now nah, we definitely got advice. But they got to they gotta go on the website. They got to they gotta tap so, in. Yeah, we got to go ahead. So we help, once again, we help businesses get that's access right. to capital to scale. You need to know that. But All also... Right. Mm -hmm. We have a challenge coming up November 18th, 19th, and 20th. Mm -hmm. So along our path of helping businesses, the issue is a lot of businesses, they get the capital, but they have no vision. They don't know what to do with the money. They end up spending 100, you know, 100,000 yeah. can go quicker than we think. Right, yeah. And it's debt. So if I'm not putting into the right things to make a profit, it's instant debt. I'm going to owe that money. Yeah. So what we said is we have a funding company. Mm -hmm. We make six figures a month in this funding company. Mm -hmm. So how about we teach people the processes, the systems, everything that we're doing as well in order to become successful. So on this Maybe. challenge, we're teaching people how to build and scale a funding company. So if you have a business and you're not making any profit or you're confused about what to do in mm -hmm. business, we'll teach you how to do exactly what we're doing 
the businesses, the systems, everything we built up to be successful. Yeah, yeah. It's it's basically three steps in three days, right? So the first step is going to be about marketing. And is it, well, like, a, the first is it like a Zoom meeting or? Is yeah, it, so it's going to be virtual. online. It's virtual. Virtual, yeah. virtual. okay, dope. Everybody dope. all over the country can attend. Yep, yep. So <coughs> obviously we're going to, uh, like I said, three steps in three days. Uh, we're going to be talking about marketing, talking about systems and process. And we're also going to be teaching you exactly how you can find those relationships and those bank managers, and those relationship managers on how you can actually get access to capital, not only for yourself, but for your clients as well, so that you can actually have a six figure funding company. Right. So <coughs> three and three. Right. Three steps, three days that 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 three plus three makes makes six. So with that six, Do the become, math. A six become a six figure funding company. Let's you got to know, man. That's that's a, a, November 8th? November 18th. 18th. Oh, November 18th. 19th and 20th. 20th. November 18th, 19th, 19th and 20th. 20th. Yes, three days. The link, the link will be below. We're we going to send the link out for you, man. Uh, I'm, um, I'm tuning in, man. I need I need that three-day challenge. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm down to make a dollar, man. Why not? Hey. That, hey new year, new money. name of the game. Turn, make a dollar out of 15 cents. That's cent, New York. Man. That's New York mentality right there. You know? <laughs> that's New York mentality right Queens there. Queens get the money, man. Millionaire Central's in the building. Tevin, Brandon, I appreciate y'all. Yes, sir. If you want to leave. find them. Yeah, if you want to let the people know where to follow y'all i follow y'all man i'm gonna be i'm gonna be watching all y'all stories i'm gonna be i'm gonna be tuned in man i gotta make some money man appreciate absolutely it. yes brandon the provider b-r-a-n-d-o-n the provider on instagram um you can always always hit us on youtube as well millionaire essentials on youtube yes sir yeah my name is tevin facey on instagram t-e-v-i-n yes like tevin campbell uh, f-a-c-e-y um you can find me on facebook linkedin Oh, you can follow our uh, our business Instagram, our business page Instagram. That's millionaires, which is plural. Essentials, plural as well. Um, he said it on YouTube as well. Millionaire Essentials. You can find us. You can see that million dollars worth of game podcast. We have a couple other podcasts. Dope, we bunch. Dope. We touring. It's called yeah. marketing. Yeah, exactly. It's pay what we attention. Teach pay you attention. To do. Yes, pay sir. attention, people. We're gonna show you how to do essentials. it. Essentials. Let's get it, man. Yes, Make sir. some noise one more time, y'all. Let's go, baby. Let's get it. Salute. Salute. Yes, sir.